Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy. So you'll have seen if you've clicked on this video, we're in for another book haul. And I've been collecting quite a few books recently and also buying quite a few books recently. I've been sent quite a few from book publishers, which I'll let you guys know which ones those are. But all in all, I've collected some really exciting books, which I'm so excited to talk to you about and very excited to be reading over the next few months. So if you're not yet a subscriber, why not click on that big red button and subscribe and you'll be part of the BookBell community. And I'm really, really excited to have you here. So please do stick around. I've got a lot more exciting videos in the pipeline. So let's just get cracking because I've tried to sort these in like acquiring order in terms of like the date that I received these, how long ago I bought them. But honestly, there's just two massive piles by me and I think we just need to get through these to be perfectly honest. So these are not in any order, but the first two books I want to mention are two Colleen Hoover books. I may be the newest member of the Colleen Hoover fan club because I read It Ends With Us and I read Verity and I became absolutely hooked. So I already owned a copy of It Ends With Us and as soon as I finished that, I knew I needed to get Verity. So this is the beautiful UK paperback and Ugly Love. Now, I don't really know why I bought Ugly Love. Like, Verity, I knew I wanted to read next, but Ugly Love, I, I'm not really sure why that was the next one that I went with essentially but i'm kind of glad i did because i'm hearing some good stuff about this if you want to hear more about my thoughts about verity and it's and it ends with us i did a whole reading vlog on colleen hoover so i'll leave that link down below but do watch that video because you basically see me descend into a normal person into a complete Colleen Hoover stan, like I become obsessed. I had to add these to my collection and I'm going to be buying a lot more Colleen Hoover books. Let me know in the comments which ones you'd recommend I read next. So next up, we have a historical romance book. Now I was recently at Yalk, which is the YA literature convention, and I was very restrained and I only bought one book. And that book is Katie Moran's Game of Hearts. So this is, as you can see, like a historical romance book. It's designed to look like Bridgerton, I'm pretty sure. But what is special about this is it is actually signed by the author. So it is signed, I don't know if you can see, by Katie Moran. So this is set in 1817 and it's set between Cornwall and London. It says, in a family scorched by scandal and scarred by war, Crow, the Earl of Lamorna, is as self-destructive as he is charismatic and it will only take one spark to set his world aflame. So when Crow's younger brother catches him in a flagrant, what is a flagrant? With their widowed stepmother, a lethal chain of events is set in motion. So it's basically described as badly behaved aristocrats and gloriously opinionated women. Like I am all about this. I love historical romance and I had to pick this up when I saw the cover. The next book I received was Gloriana, Elizabeth I and the Art of Queenship by Siobhan Clark and Linda Collins. So this was very kindly sent to me by the History Press. So thank you to the History Press for kindly sending me this beautiful finished copy. And this book obviously is about Queen Elizabeth, as you can tell, but it's more about the art that was kind of created in the Elizabethan times and how that reflects her queenship. So it says, Gloriana tells the story of Elizabethan art as a powerful device for royal magnificence and propaganda, illuminating several key artworks of Elizabeth's reign to create a portrait of the Tudor monarch as she has never been seen before. So I'm a big history buff. I knew when the history press got in touch that I really wanted to read this. So thank you for sending this my way. I love a bit of nonfiction. I'm always a big Tudor fan. So I'm really, really intrigued by this one. The next proof was one that was kind of given to me, I guess, at work. So I work at HarperCollins and Fourth Estate, who is one of the imprints at HarperCollins, were doing a kind of proof giveaway and a meet the author with Monica Heisey, who I believe is a screenwriter for Schitt's Creek, which is already amazing. But she has written a novel called Really Good Actually. And how beautiful is this proof? Like the foil kind of like raindrops are so, so stunning. So it says, one of the most hotly anticipated, hilarious and addictive debut novels of 2023 from Schitt's Creek screenwriter and electric new voice in fiction, Monica Heisey. So it says, it's a debut novel about the uncertainties of modern love, friendship and happiness. And it's about someone who 
gets divorced basically and I'm really looking forward to reading this. I think if it's going to be funny and it looks at kind of modern love and modern dating this is definitely my type of book so I'm really excited about reading this one. This one comes out in January 2023. The next book was actually a pre-order. So I pre-ordered this book after seeing a load of incredible publicity of this book. And this book is Notes on Heartbreak by Annie Lord. So Annie Lord is Vogue magazine's dating columnist, I believe. So this is non-fiction and essentially it's about Annie's kind of dating history. So after she kind of goes through quite a traumatic breakup, it kind of looks at the fallout of that and her kind of dating life. So I love books like this. I absolutely adore reading about dating and love and relationships and honestly like I'm hoping to get a lot of like relatable content relatable vibes from this you know so do let me know if you've heard of this book and if you've read it and what you thought about it the next book is another book I bought and this is A River Enchanted and it's by Rebecca Ross so you may have seen this book kind of floating around booktube I actually got inspired to read this book because the brilliant Reagan at Peru's project did a reading vlog talking about this book and I just had to read it as soon as she kind of posted that and I watched it and was like this book sounds amazing. So the blurb says enchantments run deep on the magical isle of Cadence. The capricious spirits that live there find mirth in the lives of the humans who call the land home but that mischief turns into malevolence as girls begin to go missing. Adaira, heiress of the East, knows the spirits only answer to a bard's music, enticing them to return the missing girls. But there is only one bard capable of drawing the spirits forth by song, her childhood enemy, Jack Tamerlane. So I think this is like an enemies to lovers, like romance, but also a magical kind of enchanting read. And it is fantasy. So I'm really, really hyped for this. You all know I love fantasy. And if it's got a romance plot, even better. The next book was another pre-order and this is the paperback of Gods and Monsters by Shelby Maharin. So I read Serpent and Dove and the sequel Blood and Honey last year I want to say and oh my god was I obsessed. So I knew that I'd have to wait for the paperback to kind of complete my set because I did read um, Serpent and Dove in paperback and this is the paperback, the UK paperback of Gods and Monsters. The only thing that's terrifying me about this is it is the biggest book. Like, let me hold up a normal book for reference. Like, look at this. No? Is this not the biggest book? Anyway, I'm really, really excited to read this. This is a magical YA fantasy story and I was obsessed with the first two books. So no spoilers into what's happening here, but I just know it's going to be crazy. So I'm prepared. Do let me know if you've read this book and what you thought about it down in the comments below. So the next book is a book I received in my Fairy Loot July box, which is the adult box. And it is The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy by Megan Bannon. This book is described as the house in the cerulean sea meets you've got mail in this quirky, refreshing fantasy with a rom-com worthy twist. If it's described as like a fantasy rom-com, you can bet I'm already in. The next book is another pre-order I made. I've been pre-ordering books like crazy lately and there's nothing wrong with that because it's good to support authors, but there's just so many books. So I pre-ordered Blade Breaker. Now this is the Waterstone Special Edition and it is so beautiful and so special. So first off, it's got these beautiful sprayed edges, which I'm always a fan of. And then we go inside. Look at this map, like this is a map for end pages, obsessed. Then we have it signed by Victoria. It is also a very, very chunky book. So I need like a weekend where I can just really dedicate time to reading this. I might do like a weekend reading vlog or something reading this book. I did read Realm Breaker, the first book in this duology, I think it is, or series. I read that in 24 hours. Yes, I'm crazy. Um, but I will leave that video linked down below if you haven't seen that yet. And you kind of want to taste about what Realm Breaker and Blade Breaker are about. But think epic fantasy. Think the B team after the A team didn't manage to save the day. Like, that's the vibe we're getting. It's just incredible. An incredible cast of characters and a very rich and detailed fantasy world. Okay, I'm going to try and speed up. So this past weekend, I was at a National Trust property in the UK. I'm a big grandma at heart and I absolutely love going around like historic houses and gardens. Yeah. Anyway, 
National Trust usually have secondhand bookshops. So it's always worth a find if you are going to one of these secondhand bookshops. They usually have amazing books in there. And I found this very, very special Folio Society biography of my icon, my queen, Jane Austen. So first off, look at this. How beautiful is this? Then we've got the slipcase and it comes out like this. It is just beautiful and I don't know how well you can kind of see that. This is a memoir of Jane Austen by her nephew, J.E. Austen Lee. So I'm just really, really excited that I managed to find this because I'm a huge Jane Austen fan. I collect all of her biographies if I can, like I really love reading Austen biographies. And to find this very, very special slipcase edition of you know the biography written by her nephew is something very very special to me it was also only seven pound like so this is something i'm going to be treasuring for a long long time the next book i kindly received from cornerstone which is an imprint of penguin random house and it's a proof of one of my most anticipated books of this year it is carrie soto is back by taylor jenkins reed now this is the new taylor jenkins reed book I'm very, very excited about this. This is about a famous tennis player. So we know that Jenkins Reid always kind of chooses to, you know, kind of tell the stories of like very famous people or celebrities or people with a lot of renown. It is publishing in August. So when this video goes out, it will be publishing this month. It might already be out. I will leave links to all these books down below in the description bar. So I'm really excited about Carrie Soto's back. People have been raving about this book. So I'm very, very lucky that I've received a proof. I'm very, very excited to read this. The next book I bought was a few weeks ago and I bought The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. So I bought this at Harrogate Crime Festival, which is a crime fiction festival that I was actually working. So I had authors there and my job as a book publicist is to go along with my authors and kind of attend the festivals. And I had to do some book shopping. So this is the latest book from Lucy Foley. This is a kind of like locked room type, locked apartment building, I guess. Like it's set in an apartment block in Paris and there has been a murder and they've got to basically figure out who in the apartment has like killed this person. I've literally started reading it and I'm seven pages in. So I'm not far enough to actually make any judgments yet but this is my first Lucy Foley book so I'm really excited to read this and I will let you guys know my thoughts. Another pre-order, god there's just so many of them, was Infamous and this is by Lex Croucher. So this is the second novel from Lex. They write kind of quirky Regency romantic fiction essentially. Infamous is their second novel. The first novel was Reputation and I adored that book. I've talked about it quite a few times on my channel. Infamous follows an aspiring writer who basically gets like suckered in I think with a romantic poet who is a rival to Lord Byron and they go away to this private island, this like gothic estate and I think all sorts of debauchery ensues. Lex writes with such humour and there's such a brilliant voice in this kind of like historical fiction but romance space and also it's a queer romance, it is sapphic so what more can you want? I'm obsessed. The next book I was kindly sent from Pam Macmillan and this is Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. Now this is a Greek retelling of Medusa, I believe. This is publishing this September. So I am a big fan of Natalie Haynes. I really love her Greek retellings and Medusa. Like I'm surprised that there has not been a Medusa retelling yet, but oh my gosh, am I excited for this one. Also, look how beautiful is the proof. Like I am... Um, obsessed with this just yes i need to read this very very soon but i kind of want to save it like maybe for the end of august when it starts to get autumnal because i love reading retellings in the autumn it's just perfect combination you know so i'm really excited about stone blind and i'll let you guys know my thoughts and finally the last book i was kindly sent from hockey books is empress crowned in red by kianan smart so this is the follow-up to Witches Steeped in Gold, which came out last year, I think. I haven't read that book yet, but I am planning to read it very, very soon. But this is the sequel, I believe it's a duology, and 
I think this is supposed to be hella dramatic. So I'm really looking forward to this. Witches steeped in gold with kind of a dark fantasy all about witches. And this one promises to be an incredible follow up. This is another one where it is like the biggest book. This is a 700 page book. I just, oh, that is a big commitment for me. Like, I just don't know how there are so many authors writing books over 500 pages. It just blows me away because that is like a month's worth of reading for me because I read so slow. But anyway, I am excited to get to this at some point and I will update you guys with my progress. So that is it for today's book haul. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you clicking on this video. If you did enjoy it, why not hit subscribe? And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye.